Lord good? Oh, that was weak. Is the Lord good? Say with me, Lord, you are good. And your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good. And your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. As we worship his name this morning, our God is good. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Let's worship his holy name. His mercy endures forever. Let's sing together. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. your praises to our God this morning. You may be seated. I'm telling you, if we can bottle that and sell it, we're going to get rich, don't you think? We're glad you're here this morning. want to welcome everyone. We have some visitors with us today. The McCormicks have an uh, aunt and uncle, is that right, uh, from Benton. We're so glad to have uh, you with us this morning. And then also Chris's mom and dad are with us back here on the back row and we want to say how great it is to have you here and I worked out a little deal with him before service anything you want to know on Chris for a dollar you can find out <laughs> I'm just teasing we didn't do that at all but we are glad they're here glad they could spend some time with us and uh, pray for their safety as they head back home today uh, as well I'm sure we have other visitors that are visiting with us and I don't want to leave you out 
If you are a visitor, we would like for you to reach into the back of the seat in front of you and take out the little card there, sign your name, give us a record of your, of your attendance with us today. We would greatly appreciate that. And then let me remind you that at the visitor center at the back of the church as you go out the doors, if you're visiting, we've got a little gift that we would like to give to you. So be sure and pick that up uh, if you would. A few announcements that I want to mention. First of all, I want to remind everyone at 5.30 tonight that there is the, uh, the Iwanas at uh, 5.30 for dinner, Bible study, and recreation time. So keep that in mind if you would. And then on April the 8th, we're going to be having an Easter egg hunt. Uh, there are some bags of eggs by the doors. If you'd like to help out by picking those up and, and uh, getting those ready, we would greatly appreciate it as well. Carpenters for Christ will be here that first week of June. I ask you to continue to pray as they come that the Lord would give us great weather and, and a, an opportunity to accomplish a lot on the building. want to pray for their safety as they travel to and from. And also want to say thank you to everyone who has taken the time to sign up and volunteer for the different uh, uh, aspects of, of work and ministry that we have that week. We appreciate it so, so very, very much. Uh, also, there's another uh, um, vacation Bible school paint night. It's going to be tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. If you can help, ask you to wear your paint clothes and come be a part of that. And then lastly, for the ladies of the church, I want to remind you that this coming Saturday, uh, we are having a baby shower. Uh, for Abby and, and Chris and it starts at 2 o'clock it's from 2 to 4 it's kind of an open house you can come and visit and leave or if you want to stay the entire time you can if you'd like to stick around and clean up that's fine too I'm just teasing on that but from 2 to 4 come out and be a part of that now in the bulletin what we mentioned was they were asking for um, diapers and gift cards and the, the question was asked uh, can we bring other things and the answer is you bring whatever the Lord lays on your heart if there's something else that you feel that God would have you bring for them please do it we, we would appreciate it so much the main thing is we just ask you to come out and and support them at this very special time if you would any other announcements that need to be made that I forgot about all right if you would stand with me please and we'll go to the Lord in prayer ask his blessings on the remainder of the service today and pray that he's lifted up and glorified uh, in all ways. Father, we do thank you again for allowing us another opportunity to gather here uh, at your house. And Father, how grateful we are that you have promised to meet with us and promised to bless us. Pray that, Father, as we continue in the worship of song, Lord, that you would just bless in that. Father, set the mood, the heart uh, for, for the message to come. And Father, we just pray that as your word goes forth, that the Holy Spirit would have freedom to speak to hearts and, and not only to encourage, but if there's one here, Lord, that needs to put their faith and trust in you, that this would be the day that they would give their heart and life to you before it's too late. Thank you again for loving us. Thank you for supplying all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Again, we pray that you be lifted up and glorified in all things. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And as always, stay standing as we worship our Lord. We have to stay standing as we stand up for Jesus, right? For this reason in Timothy, it says, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. The Spirit of God gave us that, that Spirit, and that what God gave us does not make us timid, but it gives us power, love, and self-discipline. I am so glad that we are given power in His name, amen? We are given power in our Christ Jesus. So as we sing, stand up for Jesus. Let's lift our voices. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross, lift high his royal banner. It must not suffer. Stand up for Jesus this morning. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The trumpet call obey. For to the mighty conflict, it is his glorious day. He who I met now serve him against unnumbered foes. Let courage. Stand 
Stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The strife will not be long. This day the noise of battle, but next the victor song. Through him who overcome the crown of life shall be. He with the King of glory shall reign eternally. He shall reign. Hallelujah. He shall reign eternally. Isn't it great that our Redeemer lives, that he died on that cross and he rose on the third day, not only to live in the flesh, but to also live in our hearts, to accept him, to have that salvation and then live with him forever. What a great, great promise of salvation that is. So as we lift his name, let's lift our voices and sing his praises. I know he rescued my soul. I know. Be seated. All right, kiddos, come on down. I didn't even get down the steps yet. There's really not much closer you can get until we give a hug. Hi, everyone.
like your doll. You're welcome. All right. You guys ready to hear from God this morning? You guys ready to listen to your teachers this morning? You guys ready to behave this morning? <laughs> There's some of them like, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, bless these children. Bless the future of Logan Street, their hearts, their minds, their bodies, and their souls. And we commit them to you this morning so that you may be glorified. Help their teachers to express the message that you would have them say to these children, to have them come to a growing knowledge of you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. You may be dismissed. And as our ushers come forward for our offering, I want to always remind you that at this time of year, we're going to start playing some really great informational videos about the uh, Annie Armstrong Easter offering and, and what that means uh, to our church and to the, uh, Illinois Baptists. But you can continue to start to give to that, and it goes through the rest of the month. But also what our offering does, not only to help this church continue its work for, for our Lord, but in the community and all throughout our nation and our world. So it's a very important thing that we pray for our offering and that the money is used well and wisely. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this morning already. A chance to worship you in song, in fellowship, in unity, and in peace here at Logan Street Baptist Church. You are great. And I pray, Lord, that the money that is given this morning, the tithes and the offerings, all goes for your glory and your kingdom grow throughout this world. And we thank you for that opportunity in our lives to be able to give and serve you in that way. It's in your name we pray. Amen. I am an instrument of the living God, my life a melody to His name. More than the songs I sing, worship is everything. I live to glorify my King.
That's what I pray every time with our choir, with our band, with everything that we do in music and worship in this church, is that it is a sweet, sweet sound to our Lord up in heaven. Because I'm telling you one thing, I want to make him proud of who we are as worshipers, genuine and authentic worship in our church. And I can see that from you as a congregation and from our choir. And it's such a sweet, sweet sound. Amen. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. How many of you guys are... Uh, not submitting in all your ways. There's some parts of your life you're holding back. Some parts of your family, your finances, your anger, your morals, the things that part of your life that you're saying, I'm just not going to give this to God. I want you to know this morning, you can trust Him. Trust Jesus. Trust Him to make you clean and make you whole. As we sing together, a great hymn of praise. Lift your voices and know it's sweet to trust in Jesus. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take Him at His word, just to rest upon His promise, just to Thus said the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I fruit Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Let's stand to our feet in worship of his name, knowing that we trust our Jesus. Sing with me. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simple faith to punch me beneath the Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I proved Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Aren't you glad you learned to trust Jesus? Accept him into your heart. Hallelujah. Let's sing that. I'm so glad I learned to trust him. Precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that he is with me. Will be with me to the end. Jesus. to move in our congregation as we worship. And as we rise to know who he is and to see him face to face. This has started to become an anthem in my life. We've done this a few times here now at 
Logan Street. So I hope the words and the melody are sinking in the way they need to. Because sometimes it's really hard to find peace where you are with all the hurt and the pain, the financial struggles, the moral dilemmas, the anger. Where are you, Logan Street? What is keeping you from having that peace in our almighty Father? Let this anthem ring out as we sing for him. There's a peace I've come to know, though my heart and flesh may fail, there's an anchor for my soul, I can say. The victory is won. 
we rise and stand in your name. We enjoy worshiping you. It's not a chore. It's not a job. It's not like we feel like we have to. Lord God, we worship you because we love you and we want to. And we desire to lift your name high above all other names. We desire to have a sweet, sweet sound lifted to your ears. And that you look down on us and say, Thank you, Logan Street, for giving me your praises. We rise for you and with you and because of you, Lord God. And this morning we know, Lord, that we wouldn't be where we are if it wasn't for the cross, for your sacrifice, for your blood that was shed. Lord God, and we celebrate the pain knowing that the salvation is our reward. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the cross and what it means in our lives. But that you rose from the dead and gave us eternal life with you when we put our heart and our faith and our trust in you. It's still the cross. And it will always be the cross. And it's in your holy and precious and amazing name we pray. You may be seated. conservative or liberal however they're defined it's not about interpretation or the judgments of the mind it's the opposite of politics power or prestige it's about a simple message and whether we Still the cross, it's still the cross of the Calvary that cleanses sin and sets the captive free. It's still the name of Jesus that has power to save the lost. It's still. Still the cross, still 